Hello friends, welcome to BSA Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Your subscription and likes are always motivating us. If you have any doubt, please comment in the section or else you are able to join us in the Instagram page which is in the description. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to say about fundamentals of entomology. I am going to cover the insect orders. So the first we are going to see about the Acterogota order. So in this, the order we are going to see is the Thysanoptera. So they the etymology of the name they have given is Thysan which is said to be known as fringes as well as Ura which is said to be known as tail. So their common names are silverfish, fryer brat as well as distal tail. So the characteristics of these outdoor animals are they used to have elongated and flattened body and their body is said to be glycerin and clothed with its scales as and uh, they used to have a compound eyes uh, which may be present as well as absent. So the antenna is said to be long and the filiform and they use it to be multi-segmented antenna and the mouth parts are used to have ectogon type which is, it, which is said to be a biting type insects. So they are said to be primarily wingless and the abdomen is used to be classified into 11 segments. They used to have a bilid styli which are present on abdominal night and the styli are believed to reduce the abdominal legs. Uh, and the female used to have an elongated joint over position and the abdomen at the tip used to carry a elongated many pairs of se segmented sexy and used it as a coral filament in, in the water. So in the insemination is said to be indirect and the metamorphosis is absent in this type of insect and molting used it to continue even after attaining the sexual maturity by these insects. So the damage by silverfish you can able to see in the old books where they use it to scrap and it feeds on the paper as well as book binding and scratch chin cloth as well as other proper products so are said to be damaged by these silverfish. So while seeing the life cycle of silverfish where they use it to come from adult um, you use it to lay eggs and the nip one, two, three, four, and uh, the finally the adult. So they use it to have a four insta stages in the life cycle and the metamorphosis they are doing is incomplete metamorphosis. And after that we are going to see about the order columbola and the etymology we are of the name. The column is used to be blue, ambola is a wedge or pig. So they use it to have a wedge or pig shaped structures in their body and the common names are the springtail uh, as well as the snowfield. They are used to be minute wingless insects and the body is globose or a tubular in structure and the compound eyes are said to be absent in these animals. One to several parts uh, pairs of lateral oxidae from an eye patch is said to be present and the antenna is said to be four segmented and the mouth path or ectognathus which is said to be used for biting type and which is found in the pouch. So the tibia is said to be fused with tarsus to form tibiotarsus and the abdomen is said to be six segmented and three more medially situated perigenital appendages are said to be present in the abdomen and the ventral tube as well as the colophore or glue peg is said to be present uh, where they use it to have a bilobed adhesive organ found on the first abdomen which is to be uh, known as the sternic which is used for respiration attention as well as the water absorption through this part. So the spring tail where you can be able to see that under 4. So after that we are going to see in that the halambola or tentacle or reticulum which is said to be found on the third part abdominal sternate where you use it to have a fusel base piece and the corpus and free distal parts called rami which is used to hold uh, the furcula. Uh, and the furcula which, uh, which is also known as the spring organ which is said to be found on the fourth abdominal sternate and basal manuptum and a pad denis and a distal call class which is said to be known as the murka. It is held under tension beneath the abdomen by retina column when at rest. And the spring which is said to be a jumping mechanism which is used by these insects and the retina column you can able to see in this picture and the furca which is the final one and the lengthiest one in this abdomen segment and the malphigian tubules are said to be absent in this insect and tracheal system is also said to be absent and metamorphosis is also absent in these types of insects 
and uh, the swarm of springtails where you can able to see the economic importance is so they are said to be they are based in alfalfa crop as well as the based in mushrooms so after that we are going to see uh, the order of type dura which is die which is two and ura tail so the used to have a two tails and the common name are type durans and japigids so they used to have many segmented antenna and the compound eyes and auxiliary are said to be absent in these type of insects they used to present the lateral styri as well as the pad cerci is said to be present in these insects and the medial caudal fish filament is said to be absent so you can able to pick see the clear skeletonized picture of type durans where they used to have a mini segmented antenna with a two cerci and lateral styri is said to be present and after that we are going to see the protura where the protura is first and ura is tail so they used to you can get the common names of pterosomptans where they are said to be small insects and their compound as well as the antenna are said to be absent in these types of insects and the four legs are said to be used for the sensory part in these insects and the abdomen or the 11 plus 1 segment so the 12th segment is said to be known as the tails on and the first three segments are used to have a styli and uh, anamorphosis is the piece uh, where the addition of segment in each mode from 9 to 10 so on their birth they used to have eight segments after the each and every mode they used to get addition of one segment in their body so in this picture where you can able to see the segmented abdomen and uh, hexapod thorax and the pro leg four legs as well as the segment classification where they used to have 11 plus 1 and the 12th one is said to be known as the tetlon and protuberance. So after that we are going to see about pterygota, exoterygota as well as the paroptera orders. So in this order we are going to see about the epimoptera you know, order. So in etymology they used to have for the name the epimora where they used to be known as the living for a day and the terra wings. So the common names of these insects are mayfly, shadefly as well as dayflies. The characteristics of these insects are said to be a small to medium size as well as the soft body insects and they used to have a large compound eyes and the mouth parts are in adult or atropide as well as they used to have three auxiliary and the antenna is short as well as cetaceous and after that we are going to see uh, the four wings which are said to be large and triangular in shape and the hind wings are said to be small and absent in some species and numerous cross and intercalatory veins are present and the wings are held vertically over the abdomen and the wing flexing mechanism is said to be absent in this image and the abdomen is slender with the pair of long sets as well as the medial cord and femur may be present or absent metamorphosis is said to be incomplete with the three stages this egg night as well as the adult and the nate is aquatic which is used to have biting mouth parts and he is used to breathe through the bilateral abdominal gills which is said to be present in their abdomen at the tip of the abdomen there is a pair of long sets as well as the median caudal filament are said to be present in these insects and immediately after the adult emergence from the body of the insect which is used to have a close fine hair which is said to be known as the pit pericle and this stage is said to be called as submiago and it is said to be dull in color with opaque wings and the legs and setsi are not well developed in these insects and uh, the mayfly may send to a vast majority of lives which is said to be called as nates so they are said to be an uh, aquatic nymphs so the structure is said to be leaf like structure where the plumes or you can able to call it as plumes and the gills are said to be present on both sides of the abdomen and the three long tails are present at the end of the abdomen they used to feed on algae as tetrites and mostly active at night in daytime they used to sleep and semiago which is say second to lost mode wingless winged form that flies to shore and moth to adult imiago at the next day uh, in imiago the wings are said to be transparent and legs and sexy are said to 
fully developed one and the body is shiny and not covered with the pellicle so in nymphs the body is said to be covered with pellicle as well as in adults they are said to be not covered and adults are found near lakes and ponds and which are said to be easily attracted by the light and adults are short lived and hence the name are said to be called as day fly and the important ones are need or important in fish food when they emerge in large numbers they pose nuisance problems in that particular area so i have given the pictures of need of may fly where you can able to see the abdominal gills which is said to be present on both sides of the need you can able to see in this picture an adult emerging from i have given also the molting process of formation of imago as the final one where the adult is emerging from the night so in while seeing the economic importance of adult so nights are said to be one of the important fish foods as well as the ecological indicator of good quality of water present in that area so you can able to see the life cycle of mayfly so where they used to come from egg to nymph and the nymph used to go for the formation of after three molts and forms an adult and after that we are going to see about the order odon odonata so that etymology name used to say that the odonta tooth and where they mean that they used to have a tooth shaped body in their picture and the common names are dragonfly as well as the drag a damsel fly and the characteristics are the medium to large size shaped insect and they are attractively colored so the head is globulous and constructed behind the petiolated neck and the common compound eyes are said to be large and three auxiliary are said to be present and mouth pods are adapted for mainly for biting and the mandibles are strong tooth and lacina and glassy are said to be fused to form mala which is also a tooth in this particular type of insects so the wings are either either equal or sub equal as well as the membrane is one and the venation is uh, a network with many cross veins which is present in their wings so you can able to see this picture there is uh, nodus as well as the pterostigma super triangle as well as the triangle which are used to have a perfect vein, vein system for the flight and the wings used to have a dot the pterostigma towards the coastal apex and subcosta end in nodus Where, which is used to show help for the wing venation and the wing flux mechanism is said to be absent in these insects and the legs are anteroventrally placed and they are suited for grasping holding and governing the prey with their mouth but they cannot able to walk with these things so the subfinus membra and tibia are usually used for holding the prey and the forward shift of leg attachment allow easy transfer of prey items to mouth in flight and the legs are held in such a way like basket to form uh, where the food is said to be scooped by these insects so and the major drop of drawback of these legs are they cannot be able to walk with these legs so their only mode of transportation is their flight and the abdomen is said to be long and slender and in male gonophore which is said to be present on ninth abdominal segment but the functional collector organ is present on the second abdominal stern before mating sperm are transferred to the functional penis or the male one and the circuit is said to be one segment and the metamorphosis is said to be incomplete which is used to have just three life stages and the nade is aquatic and the labium are said to be greatly elongated in the nade jointed and bear two hooks at the apex which is said to be called as mask in this nade it is used for capturing the prey so i have given the picture of metamorphosis where you can able to see the dragonfly in him and which used to form a dragonfly emerging into the nymph stage and uh, you can able to see the full picture of adult dragonfly so i have given the difference between anisoptera dragonfly as well as the zygoptera damsel fly so the dragonfly is said to be strong flyers and the uh, they are said to be weak flyers and the wings are unequal and hind wings are be basically broader than fore wings and the zygoptera damsel fly is used to have equal wings and the wings are broadly attached to the abdomen and wings are pediolated as well as narrowly attached to the abdomen 
V nation is not similar in both four wings as well as hind wings. V nation is identical in both the wings. Wings are said to be spread laterally at rest and wings are held at an angle above the abdomen. They used to have compound eyes which are long and meet, meet dorsally which is said to be known as the holoptic and compound eyes are said to be button like with a wide upper dicoptic in nature. And the male used to have three abdominal appendages, two superior anal appendages and the one anterior anal appendages, the two one are said to be known as thersi and the and inferior one is said to be known as epic procket and the, in damsel fly they used to have a four terminal appendages they where they used to have a pair of pair of superior anal appendages which is to be known as the cerci and the pair of inferior anal appendages which is to be known as the pair of props which has to be present and the work portion is exophytic in nature and the work portion is to be endophytic in damsel flies while seeing the nates of dragonfly in damsel fly in dragonfly they are said to be stout and robust and um, in damselfly they are said to be slender and fragile in nature the rectal gills are said to be present internally and found associated with the rectum but in damselfly they used to have a visible caudal gill three caudal gills which are said to be present and they are able to propel themselves by forcibly ejecting water through the anus from rectum and uh, they used to have lack of jet propulsion mechanism in their travel needs so these are the images of dragonfly as well as the tamsel fly you can be able to see the eyes of odonto species where the holoptic nine nature as well as the type coptic nature of the tamsel fly eyes and uh, you can be able to see the appendages and the lateral as well as the dorsal view of the odonto group so and these are the nights of dragonfly as well as the tamsel dra fly and uh, you can able to see the mating position and tandem flight it's how they used to mate with one another and uh, it's how the over position tactics and the economic importance and uh, where the nates and adults are said to be beneficial as predator heating on harmful insects and dragonflies are said to be considered as a threat to poultry industries because they transmit prothogonus pediculus which is a parasitic platform one of the major drawback of these insects so after that we are going to see about the order pasmatoria so the etymology of the name uh, pasma which is an abrasion so the common names are stick insect as well as the leaf insect so while seeing the characteristics the body is stick or leaf like in structure and the head is prognathous and the mouth parts are used mainly a chewing tip one and the prothorax is said to be sharp and the meson metathorax are said to be long when compared to prothorax and the metathorax is closely associated with the first abdominal segment and the legs are said to be wide separated they are long slender and resembling fig like in stick insects and the tibia and femur shows a laminate expansion in leaf insects a line of weakness is found in between the trochanter and the rest of the legs the legs are broke can easily at this region so such legs are said to be the regenerator in this insect so the torso is said to be should be five segmented in nature and the wings are said to be present or absent based on the insect environment and the four wings are said to be present as well as small and the modified into tegma in leaf insect the wing venation um, which is used to mimic the leaf venation in that environment and the sets are short and unsegmented they are they show the protective resemblance while emerging in the environment they are mainly herbivorous in nature so i have given the pictures of walking stick insect and the leaf insect where you cannot be able to see any difference in that leaf environment while seeing these insects so the classification pasmidae they are a stick insect and pyridae which is a leaf insect and uh, the economic importance is all are herbivorous in nature and the cam foliage images where you can able to see the pictures of stick insect as well as the leaf insect so i have given the lecture notes in description if you have any doubt please comment in the section as well as join us in the instagram page which is in the description so if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i'll catch you up in next videos